Alright, what's up y'all? We were pulling live from the garage, man. I'm in here with Dolores. Uh Texas Whip Fest's pants. It's gone. We missed it. It's all good though. It's all good. Um oil pressure issue is what we concerned about at this point. And basically what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to Hold on, let me turn off this other mic. So basically what we're gonna have to do is uh some things gonna have to be removed and I'm trying to see how, how I want to tackle this. Uh so this is how the car sits in the garage as of now. Um like I said, I, there's a lot going on here. A lot going on here. Uh, so essentially, what we would need to do is remove the water pump. Uh, after the water pump is removed, we would have to remove the balancer. I'm trying to see how easy or how hard it would be to try to get right there to that pan. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Of course, initially, first thing that came to my mind was like, well, fuck it, bro. We'll just pull that shit apart. Like, pull the whole engine out. Pull the whole engine. Fuck it. But, Oh, that's dead. Uh, on second thought, on second thought, I feel like it would be more, even more work to pull the actual whole engine versus just pulling what's necessary. So, like I said, I'm thinking that we're gonna have to do, like I said, the power steering pump itself, Uh, or not a power steering pump. So we have to pull the water pump, pull the harmonic balancer, and then from there, it just be a matter of getting that timing cover off and getting that bolts that holds. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's two bolts that hold that pickup tube as I was going back through the videos that we had recorded before of the past uh, install. So, uh, hindsight is 2020, and I'm gonna tell you, I wanna go on record and say it right here, right now, on LS7 Rock 254 on YouTube that, look bro, if you finna, uh, if you gonna do something with one of these motors, man, no matter what, no matter what it is, bro. Like, why you got it out? Just cheap, cheap, a hundred dollar, cheap, a hundred dollar insurance is to, man, just go ahead and change that fucking oil pump, bro. Because if you gotta pull it, if you gotta do it after you already got it in the car, it's, it's gonna be hell. You know what I'm saying? And not necessarily like hell, but I mean, don't get me wrong, like it's inconvenient all the way around. Like, it, it just is. You ready to ride, like the car is running and driving per se, but slight issue, you know, the oil pressure. So, um, if I needed to, I guess my only question is if I need to lift the motor up, how does that work? Especially if uh, yeah. 
That one thing for sure. I mean, pretty much uh, the cooling system gonna have to be drained. The yeah, cooling system gonna have to be drained. Like I said the water pump, all that shit gotta come off for us to get up under there and then be able to do it, do what we need to do. I was thinking about flipping the car around, but honestly, I think we should we should be able to just bring it back a little bit, and then that'll give us a little bit more room up here to work. That way I can get actually up under, up under the car, or I would think about flipping the car around and doing it that way. But then, like I said, if the, if the sun is shining or if it get nighttime or whatever, then the front of the car would be right here. And then when the door closed, I wouldn't have nowhere to really kind of get right there. So I think we'll leave it face, face this way. And then, uh, I guess go ahead and start pulling everything apart. It'll be a multi-day project. Nothing that I'm going to try to do in one swoop. Uh, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say I got an oil pump over here somewhere. But I believe I bought an oil pump for this. And never, well, I won't say never got to use it, just hadn't got to using it yet. Is what we'll say. If I don't have an oil pump for it, then it's, you better believe that mine is gonna get one. Please believe me. Uh, nah. So I got like lifter trays, rod, rod bearings, main bearings. Uh, I know I did the time and set itself. but no actual oil pump. So, oh uh, yeah, and it's probably a good idea to go ahead and change that cam. This cam played out too. I mean, since you're there, and since it can be a contributing factor to the, to if you have oil pressure, then mighty well. So that part number, I'm gonna leave that out. <clears throat> But we're going to need an oil pump for sure. Part number, mailing part number 295 is the one that we've used before. That's the one that's running on the cutlass. And that cutlass has beautiful oil pressure. Beautiful, beautiful. So, we got part number for this is D31822. So, we all need that. Part number, mailing 295 for the pump and uh yeah So what we're doing here is we're gonna pull the intake. I did notice like a little bit of leaking. I'm trying to make sure I know some people reference like the screen. 
cuts down off in this area. As you can see, from what I can see, as you can see from what I can see, there is no screen. So what we got here, we got the oil pressure sensor off. As you can see, it's a little wet back there. So we're going to you know, take out the cam position or the yeah, cam position sensor. Uh, and we're going to make sure that it's all the way in there. And there's no leak in. Because if you leak, you can lose pressure. And it doesn't give an uh, accurate read. So that's what we're trying to get. So it's a three. I think it's three quarter wrench. So we're gonna get it out, down off in there and get it good to go. And then put it back together, crank it back up and see what we got. All right, so we back. Uh, like I said, got everything put back together. I just, this morning, So I, yeah, I just this morning put everything kind of back the way it, back the way it need to be. Um, I did have to take it in. So I did crank it already to see what the oil pressure was. And while I believe it's better, it's still not where it's supposed to be. So more than likely, she gonna need a, a new heart. Which that shouldn't be no problem. Like I said, I got a block. I got a block over there. I got a block over there. So I'm saying you prepare for it. Uh, there was like a little bit of a leak back there at the sensor. I pulled the sensor out, make sure there was no new problems. Etc. Uh, and went from there. So basically, this is where this is basically where we're sitting at. I mean, it did kind of pump up on its own, but I mean, it's still not nowhere close to where I think it should be. Yeah, and it's still giving a warning for like nine PS, eight, nine PSI. Like if I rev on it, So at 3,000 RPM, I mean, you see where it got. So obviously the, the I'm gonna think or take it as the motor's just kind of, the motor's worn, fucking it need either new mains, new main bearings, new rod bearings, like something along them lines, cause it's still not doing what it's supposed to do. And we know it's not the O-ring at this point. But I feel like I know it's not the O-ring. So. The only thing that I can really think of at this time is maybe trying to add some of that Lucas. If I add a thing of the Lucas, then it may kind of kind of help it build back up so but like I said all 
I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna solve the problem overall. So I'm gonna say that the verdict is we need another engine. We'll be a one. This will be a band aid for now. But like I said, at least it's not as bad as it was before. I feel, but until I can take it up the street, then I I really won't know. So I guess we can take it up the street and find out. Fuck around and find out. All right, so let's see what we get this time. Like last time. We couldn't even get up the street without losing pressure. So, oh, um, doing the same thing. It doesn't seem like the pressure drops as low, but it's definitely lower. Long story short, this one just gonna need a motor all the way around, cause yeah, see, it's just not holding pressure. Like I can't even get them off. I like got. I think it's worse than it was before. As long as you coast, as long as you coast them off, I guess, like, with not a whole bunch of, I guess, go, then you can get something out of it. But you give it too much, that motherfucker is not doing nothing you want it to do. I could probably need a compression test on this motherfucker at this point too, but <laughs> at this point, like it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So we tried to save it, try to do it. The little emergency heart surgery, but the heart is too far gone, so. We'll find another. We'll find another motor, or like I said, build another motor, and then go from there. 